Starting this one out with some high-level gravy. When Trump got elected, he was running on a platform that included the idea, the idea that Hillary and Obama were the founding members of ISIS. Remember that? And all the wars, the major wars in history, World War I, World War II, are provably funded by the same people funding both sides of the war. Sorry, that was distracting. Same people funding both sides of a war. At first, it doesn't make sense. But once you understand it, I haven't heard one single person posit the idea that the same people funding the Trump campaign and the MAGA movement are also funding this anti-black fascist lives matter movement. <clears throat> but if we were to see the headline that told us that's the case, we would understand why and how it's beneficial to create opposition in order to control it, controlled opposition. <clears throat> Let that one simmer for a while. Maybe we'll come back to it. What I want to do on this one, it's going to be a short video. Let's try and nip this in the bud because I saw Richie put out a video today speaking out both sides of his mouth, showcasing a lightning weapon in part of the video and in another part of the video he's showing that they're busting arsonists here and there and everywhere and they're trying to put it into the mind of the public that it's arsonists and it was either in Richie's video or a plain truth where they show on the radar how quickly these fires light up by rewinding it forward and backward forward and backward and showing you backward in time they're gone forward they all pop up and it would take an army of arsonists to do this. On my channel, we still have the forensic video evidence to prove humans aren't capable of producing this type of fire burn pattern. Not with a match, not with a lighter, not with a blowtorch. So, that might be the comment that you drop in people's comment section that start trying to float this idea that there's a group of people out there, maybe paid Soros pyros, and you drop these fires are not humanly possible. Humans are not capable of producing this fire. And then drop the 10 links in there to the videos and discredit me, say, you know, that guy's crazy as hell, don't listen to too much of what he says or you'll start to sound crazy too. But look at the forensic video evidence that he's showing you. And these fires are not even humanly possible. In order to keep them from pitting one group of us against the others, as if they started the fires. Because we can't do anything to stop the uh, phenomenon that's happening, but we can stop them from pitting us against each other and using it. Like Gavin Newsom and these other guys saying, oh, climate these are climate fires. We need to start calling them climate fires and the climate change debate is over. I think he's discrediting himself and as soon as we prove that these are uh, not climate related, the whole climate debate is over because it will be shown that people like him are willing to fit anything under the sun into one of their talking points in order to keep their narrative pieced together. On my way through Colorado today, I've previously made a video of fence posts between exit 72 and 75 in Parachute, Colorado. And I made it knowing that that fire had happened within the last month because I had gone back and forth on I-70 to Colorado 10 times in the last couple months. And then one day I passed it and noticed all these fence posts are burned in these weird ways where it'll burn out the middle of the fence post and leave the top and the bottom. I'll include the link in the description to that video. My point is, driving past there today, I can see that they've replaced all the fence posts between exit 72 and 75. That's a three mile stretch. But after exit 75, there's about another five miles of burned fence posts that are brand new that have happened within the last month or so since the last time I went to Colorado via I-70 during the day, granted, it's happened within the last month or so. They've replaced all the fence posts that I showed you on my previous video and on my next video when I'm going through Colorado. There's 
all those new fence posts that are even more eye popping than the previous ones. Some of them are split up into three or four. So there's a new fire area in Parachute and just down the road in Palisade. I'm seeing a lot of these little spot fires off the side of the road that are just a thousand feet, thousand square feet, where they're just popping up here and there and everywhere. And I think it's gonna become so routine that this conversation we're having now ain't gonna be necessary for much longer. So I heard a guy on a video saying that they're gonna do an EMP and blame it on the sun. I think it's the opposite. I think this natural phenomenon that's happening on this electromagnetic gyro that we're on with the electricity coming up from the ground is going, instead of having an EMP and blaming it on the sun, there's gonna be something that come from the sun and they're gonna blame it on an EMP. As long as they keep you thinking that it's man-made, there's some pyros out there. And the overhead signs just keep giving you a new idea. Today, Yesterday it was low tires. Low tire pressure causes fire. Don't park on dry grass. Dragging chains causes fires. Truckers, check your brakes and they'll put it up on the overhead sign. Uh, statewide fire ban or fire restriction high. And then the next sign says, truckers, check your brakes. Or RVs and trailers, check your brakes. It was a gender reveal party. The Springville Canyon fire, uh, someone was up there shooting guns. They're putting out any idea that makes it man-made. Even if it's an EMP, all we gotta do is find the people with their hand on that lightning weapon and bomb the hell out of that country and then we'll save you. So you gotta keep paying your taxes. Even if it's pyros out there, arsonists, all we gotta do is round up these arsonists. So keep paying your taxes. But if they allow you to understand that it's a natural phenomenon that they are not in control of, nor can they do anything about, then their laws are no longer enforced and society breaks down. So they're gonna continue trying to get you to think this is man-made by any means they can. And we have the video evidence that if they try to pit one group against another and say it's this group or that group, I think there's enough people out there like me that can see what's happening that will come out and speak the truth and show the video evidence. The way to carpet bomb a comment section if people are trying to float this idea that there's a group of arsonists out there, it's paid Soros pyros. The way you hit a comment section is not just drop the comment with the links to the videos in the comment section. You reply individually to people who have left a comment and it gives them a notification on their phone and they look because you replied directly to them, they will click on the link and watch and then they will share it with someone else and the butterfly effect and the multiplying effect, you reached at least one person when you reply directly to their comment, you know you reached that one person. If you just leave it in the comment section, you know how you scroll through the comments. Maybe one out of a hundred people will read that comment and maybe only 10% of those who do read the comment will even watch the video. But if you reply directly to someone, they will watch it and they will know the truth and they will share it with others. People will say it's spamming. You're spamming my comment section. Well, traditional Facebook and YouTube etiquette are very low on my priorities and therefore are not incorporated to my principles and will not be reflected in my behavior. I will spam and carpet bomb your comment section to get to the people. And I hope others are willing to act in the same fashion. Putting a date on the near future as to when this crescendo might come to a head probably isn't helpful, but if I had to I would say December 21st, when this huge planetary alignment is happening. I would say this is definitely, these plasma fires are in conjunction with the magnetic field being so weak. Electricity and magnetism have a relationship that is inseparable. So the weakening magnetic field may be what's allowing the electricity to rise up through the ground or not blocking out enough of the solar radiation 
that is coming down and penetrating the ground. Either way, I believe this is a natural phenomenon that is going to continue to happen. And at a time when there is a natural phenomenon like a pole shift happening, you can count on every black ops agency out there enacting their code red doomsday plans <clears throat> because whoever gets to sit on the ash heap after it all washes out is the guy who prepared for it and the guy who enacted plans to control this demolition. So what I'm saying is there's a combination of the natural phenomenon and the directed energy weapons. Paradise, California was definitely a militarized hit. All these other plasma fires seem to be a natural phenomenon where it's not directed energy weapon, it's just popping up randomly. But if we're headed towards a point where everything's gonna break down, up until that point, the power brokers of the world are jockeying for position so that when the breakdown happens, they can be in control after order is restored. Shout out to the old watchers of this channel who will recognize after the decay, they will reclaim and order will be restored. That was the caption below the t-shirt that had the snake coiled around a post with a human skull on top. <clears throat> 